Hey, Phil here with Houston Kiteboarding and Pacific North Sports. Um, today we're talking about the Ride Engine Airbox, which is an electronic um, high, in, high volume, high pressure inflation system, like an electric pump. I mean, it is an electric pump. Um, the big difference between this one and the ones that we've been using, uh, the China Special, I call them, the Bravo series and stuff, which break after about you know six inflations or whatever, impossible to fix. This is a very small unit, um, lithium ion instead of the heavy batteries. So you can easily travel with it and bring it everywhere. You know, we plan on using these in the school, so we'll be able to test, test out its uh, reliability over time and that kind of stuff. Okay, these are the items we're going to inflate. The LTF 210 liter, which is an inflatable uh, wing board. It's a big fat wing board, 15 PSI inflation. The UFO V3, which is the new one in a seven meter, which is a uh, eight, PSI inflation pressure and then the Slingwing V3. That's a 10 PSI inflation pressure, so kind of a good mix. Um, keep in mind on this, I never charged this air box. Um, this is just the charge that came um, on it. It's not even a full charge, maybe like a 70% charge. So um, yeah, we'll see how it holds up with inflating these three items. Manual, a couple sheets of paper. Looks like uh, pretty easy. Press and hold power button, plus and minus buttons to choose the desired maximum PSI for your kite wing or SUP. After connecting the pump nozzle to your equipment, initiate inflation process by pressing the power button. Okay, pretty easy. Here's the hose and the charger. And this is the unit. Um, look how small this thing is compared to my hand. I mean, it's, it's little. There's just not much to it. So take this guy out of the... So here it is. Um, you have the controls here, inflate, the deflate. Um, the deflate's gonna be where the air comes in. So I'm gonna hold this down. It's gonna turn on. So this is inflating to 15 PSI. We're gonna lower that. We're gonna inflate a kite first. So let's get it to, let's try eight. 8 PSI. Okay. Just going to save that. We're going to hook up. So this is everything in that kit. Um, you have a car charger, which is just a straight 12 volt charger there. This is the charger they give you. It's the same as a GoPro. Um, they don't have the connector that goes into the wall, you know, but um, yeah, everybody has that kind of stuff. This is where both of the chargers hook into the unit. Um, so they have two different inputs, one for the GoPro style charger, and then the, uh, the other one's the 12 volt, the 12 volt system. So the pump hose is very nice and both sides are, um, free spinning. So you can easily thread them on the two connectors. These two connectors will work with the SUPs and like Duotone core and slingshot kites. They'll work with all of them. You guys hooked on here. Look at that, six to eight PSI. We have it set for eight PSI. So I'm gonna turn this sucker on. Yep, so it's still set at eight PSI. So I hit this one more time to start. So it's using a fan right now, high volume. Now this is a seven meter UFO, so it's not super big. Fast forward to the video, just because um, we've all seen kites and flights, no big deal. Um, it switches over to compressor mode, which is not as fast, but it's high pressure at about one and a half PSI or so. Um, it'll switch over and start pumping. In this instance, I actually switched back and forth a couple times because I had it wrapped up. Um, you know, But then it starts increasing pressure really rapidly once you get um, higher on the pressure scale. So you can see it's kind of going right up there all the way to uh, eight. So all kites have a one-way valve built in to the valve. So this kite or this pump's gonna pump it up to eight PSI and you'll see the numbers kind of drop from there. It's not gonna kick back on, which is a great design consideration because that one, the one-way valve is gonna stop it and then the pressure's gonna drop so off. Now we're going right hose. into it. Uh, we're gonna switch modes into high, high pressure mode for this uh, LTF 210, 210 liter, it's a big, big thick board. Um, so our unit here, we're gonna turn it on, hold that down. Oh, 
on our unit here, we're going to turn it on and we're going to adjust the pressure. This guy says 15 PSI. So that's what we're going to do. Pump this guy up to 15. Oh, there we go. Hook it up and get Okay, it so we are hooked up. I'm going to hit the start button here, which is here. Total inflation on this took five and a half minutes to get to 15 PSI. I'm just going to cut this video because it's kind of a long one, even though I, I sped it up here. All right, next is a wing. Uh, it's a little one, um, but it's a slingshot sling wing V3. Great thing about slingshot is they have the one pump on everything. They own the patent on the one pump system. So it's all their stuff that's one pump, which is awesome. This guy's gonna be, let's see, 10 PSI right there. 10 PSI, so we turn this back on. Keep in mind, guys, I never charged this. This is just from, you know, shipping. They shipped it to me and it had a charge on it. I'll get it down to 10. I already hooked it up, so we're just gonna hit go. That's it. Ooh, and that is solid. That is solid. Okay, so we uh, see the pressure dropping. That's because the valve closed. Um, it's not turning back on, which is kind of a cool feature. I, is this is where the, the air is coming in to fill up um, kites and stuff. This needs to have a sand filter on it. Um, you know, this guy just kind of screws right on. Um, there's a couple pieces in here. Let's see. Yeah, there's nothing really that would, would screw on there, but I would take like a, a sock. Um, sock material and zip tie. In fact, I'm going to do this sock material and zip tie it around there because that's what kills these pumps is uh, sand getting in there. Uh, Florida, you know, even in Texas, we, when it's really blown with this fine grit sand, that'll get in there. Put some sort of um, filtration system, like a piece of, you know, coarse canvas or a sock or something, zip tie it on that guy to keep the sand out of your pump. Um, so we just pumped up three items Without even a full charge, no issue. The uh, the uh, sense sensing electronics inside that measure PSI seem to be fairly correct. Um, I mean, I, th I thought it was spot on as far as PSI goes. It's hard to check on the SUP, but the rest of it I really know, like the kite, eight PSI and the wing, 10 PSI. Felt like it was accurate to me. Yeah, awesome, right? Never, uh, never pumping up a wing or a inflatable board or a kite again, as long as I have the right engineer box. Um, this little guy right here is coming with me everywhere, uh, including on trips. So hope you enjoyed the video. Um, we have a bunch of these, so if you need one, let us know.